give up on your dreams. That's what I heard when my best friend told me that it wasn't a good idea to pursue my goals in life. Hi guys, this is Aruva Chan, and sorry to start on a sour note, but this is very much something that affected me back when I was trying to make really big decisions in my life. So I'll start from the beginning. And I suppose it starts in high school, not even in college. I moved to the town that I'm currently in now, and this town is full of my family and full of my cousins. And one of those cousins was my very best friend for my entire life. But the only problem was she wasn't a great person and she still isn't. She is a good person in some aspects, but she was not a good person to me. And I didn't know that until I had gone to college and my newer friends kind of did stuff that she would do and she didn't get, you know, they didn't get mad where she would or they wouldn't get upset with me if I did something that they didn't like. They would just be like, it's okay. Just don't do that or something. But I was figuring out lots of things in college, including what I wanted to be when I grew up. And this is a very, very big decision that I was not prepared to make. And I knew this and I, I somewhat knew what I wanted to do. Like I knew I wanted to do art, but I knew that it probably wasn't going to happen. Haha, ha 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 ha, past me. <laughs> I knew it probably wasn't going to happen, so I was kind of trying to feel through what I wanted. And I really wanted to do something. I wanted to do anything fun. So I gravitated towards drama, and I gravitated towards art, and I gravitated towards music. Which, you know, I guess it really did work out in the end. <laughs> but back to this, we are in college. We are, you know, 18 years old, home, you know, home away from home for the first time in my life. And I have to make a big decision, a huge decision, a decision that will impact my entire rest of my life. And let me tell you, this is not an easy decision, especially if you are an indecisive person. I have decided now what I would be happy with and the course of action that I have taken now, but back then I wasn't sure. And I knew for a fact that people who had gone to art schools never did art with their life. They always went and ran a daycare or a pizza shop or worked at the school or whatever. They came home and they did nothing. They didn't do anything with their jobs or their love or their career. They, they forgave, forgot about it. Forgave themselves and forgot about it. I didn't want to be like that. So I figured art's probably not the right course of action for me. So I, I had that in my mind my entire life. Art isn't the right action for me. And I knew this, so I had already accepted it before I'd even gotten to college, which was not a good idea because crush your dreams, haha. <laughs> But that wasn't the one thing that I wanted to do. No, I really wanted to learn how to act. So I was doing, you know, drama classes and I was in plays and I had tons and tons of experience that I was getting from doing all of this stuff. And I genuinely liked it. I, I, I had so much fun playing characters and I, I felt scared when I first had to step onto the stage, but once I was on, I didn't feel scared anymore and it felt right. And I wanted to pursue this. Now, when I was in the guidance counselor's office, he had asked me, are you sure about this? And I was like, eh, like um, I mean, yeah, like I really like this. I really want to be better at, you know, acting, and I want I wanted more social skills, too. I know I I'm a very awkward person, so going through drama was sort of my way of starting up, 
becoming more social and becoming the more outgoing person that I'm trying to be and I'm trying to get to. But I had driven myself into that field because I genuinely liked it too. And I told the guidance counselor, they weren't really a guidance counselor, he's more of a career advisor. Um, I told him that I was fairly sure that I wanted to do this and I had put art as a minor or a secondary major so I would be double majoring in art and drama and I suppose I should have done art and music if I had done anything but I had done art and drama and my career guy he said that's fine but you need both of your parents signatures if you want to do this course and I was like weird weird flex but okay like I'll go home and I'll ask mom and dad so I went home and I told my parents that this is what I wanted to do and they kind of looked at me with scared you know she's not she's not really a decisive person I hope this is the right thing for her kind of eyes and they told me all right if you're going to do this you're going to do this and I said yes and they were like, are you sure? And I said something along the lines of, if I am not the person who's going to do it, who will? Like, I know the people who were in my school and I know that they had the work ethic to be, you know, bigger, but I feel like I have the determination of someone who doesn't give up. And I feel like I could have done it. I could have become big but also at the same time I don't think I could have become big home and here I would have had to go somewhere which maybe thinking now it may, may not have been a you know a great idea I don't know things may have panned out I don't know but my parents were willing to let me try and they had signed off on this you know sheet and said yes it's fine that she wants to be a drama and art major and then I told my best friend, my best friend since I was a little, little kid and since she was born. And she told me, I don't think that's a good idea. And I remember because we were in my kitchen and I kind of looked at her and I said, why not? And she said, because a lot of people can't get those jobs. And I said, well, you know, I said the same thing I said to my parents. I said, if I, you know, if I'm not the person who's going to do it. Who is? And she said, there are tons of actors out there. And I said, you know, she wanted to be an accountant. I said, and there's tons of accountants out there. And I understand. I understand what she had meant. She wanted me to see things realistically and not, you know, romantically in the way I kind of see things. Like, I wanted to be an actress and I wanted to be famous and I... You know, I wanted all of this stuff, which I still do. I don't really want to be an actress per se, but I wouldn't be upset if I was an actress. I wouldn't, you know, be sad if I had to act. I think acting is fun and I really liked acting and I was kind of crushed. My best friend told me that my dream, my somewhat you know, misguided dream, maybe not even misguided, my, my somewhat impossible dream was impossible and that I probably shouldn't pursue it. And I, it struck a chord with me. If my best friend, my best friend in the entire world said that it probably wasn't a good idea, then why was I doing it? And I went back to school with that mentality. I went back to the counselor and told him I wasn't sure anymore. And I decided that I wasn't going to major in anything. I was going to be undecided until I had figured it out. And this was my downfall. Because I had spent the entire year doing fun things, doing 
drama, doing yoga, doing art, doing all of the fun college things that I wasn't able to do at home. And then I had to go home because I didn't decide what major I wanted. I didn't decide anything. I decided that I would listen to my cousin and I decided to not decide. This was my downfall because when I went home, it was suffocating. There's nothing here in this town for me. And I had one friend and it was the one friend who told me to not follow my dream. And I didn't really like her anymore. I figured a lot of things out at college, including the fact that she wasn't a good person and she wasn't nice to me. She may have seemed nice and which had fooled me. It had fooled me for such a long time because I was just used to her doing whatever she wanted and I wasn't aware that she was ever being mean to me and if she was being mean to me it was because she was hungry or if she was tired or you know whatever thing this had been not the fact that she didn't want the best for me and she didn't want me to succeed like my parents my parents wanted me to do this they wanted me to fail if I did fail and they wanted me to succeed if I succeeded but in the end it should have been my decision and having my very best friend tell me not to it broke me and I sort of spun for a little while I if my best friend didn't believe in what I could do then what am I doing? And I remember I didn't want to be at home. I didn't want to be near her and I didn't I didn't have a purpose anymore. Like at least when I was in college I was a student and I had friends who were supporting me. But when I was back home I had nothing. And it really hurt. It really hurt me. I know now that art isn't an impossible climb. It's a long climb. It's a long climb that gets progressively easier the more you do it. And I should have known that. I should have known that back when I was in college. But it's hard when you're just learning because everything will teach you something. Everything you do and everything that happens to you is a lesson. And a lot of the times lessons aren't good. Lessons are hard taught. And my lesson was that she didn't care. She didn't care about what I thought or what about my future or what I dreamed about. She wanted me to be more practical she wanted me to see things the way they are the way the world has to be but i don't like that and i'm not accepting that and you guys don't have to either i've decided now that i want to be an artist and if that dream doesn't ever pan out i'm okay with that because i i've got my everything i've got myself i've got my youtube and I'm happy with that. I'm really happy with that. I've created something for myself. And that's more than I can say for when I was in college. I needed to fail to become who I am today. And a lot of people may not see it like that. But that's truly how I believe that I've figured everything out. I I went home and I worked three different jobs that I hated one wasn't too bad but I I couldn't stay at that job either (laughs) I was fired from that job um but I I had a lot of decisions in my life made for me and this is the one that I really wanted to make for myself so thank you best friend who decided for me that that's not a good course of action, that you should not pursue your dreams, because guess what? In the end, I did it anyway, and I'm still going to do it, and I'm going to be much, much happier now that you are out of my life. Thank you guys so much for listening. 
If you liked this video or if you had something similar to this video happen to you, please leave, you know, your story down in the de the description in the comments leave your story down in the comments let me know because i want to know if i'm the only one out there who's had something like this happen like if your parents or you know your siblings have told you that your ideas are not good please let me know because this experience was very very ridiculous looking back like in hindsight it's very stupid that i let this dis you know sway me so if you had something like that happen please let me know uh, if you liked this video, please leave a thumbs up. It really does help me. And if you like me, subscribe. I also have a Discord in the description where you guys can come and chat. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!